The sound of construction is noisy, loud, and not always welcomed. But project coordinator Daniel Garrett says bring it on. We're going to be installing concrete medians from North Avenue to Boulevard. This is due to the fact there's so many vehicular accidents with cross traffic. Many know Gray Highway for its constant churn lane that runs down the center. That lane is staying, but now it's going to have two media nets added. And it's hopefully to make the uh, traveling public more safe and help ease the traffic flow throughout Gray Highway. At the Gray Highway Duncan, employees have a front row view to the construction. Actually watching it as they was doing it, you can tell it slowed down traffic by a lot. Shift Supervisor Jayana White says it's taking customers longer to get to the store, but it hasn't stopped them. Yeah, people still gonna come get their coffee. Cause we get customers, not even just in Macon, for Jones County and all up, cause some of them don't have a Duncan where they at. White tells me one of the problems of Gray Highway is the lack of crosswalks here, and that's why she's seen people cross the six lanes of traffic at all times of the day and night. There have been a few times where some people try to go across the street and they almost get hit because the cars and then the trucks are zooming past. She hopes it'll protect people from cars coming at them, even if it'll take longer for drivers to come and go. Now they have to actually go down a little bit more and then go around the whole thing. So it's going to slow down traffic by a lot. She says even if it saves one life, it would be worth it. Reporting in Macon, Selena Air, 13 WMAZ News. All right, so construction taking place throughout this week from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Georgia Department of Transportation says they hope to finish the project by Friday afternoon.